gives us shoe or how our applications will work if we're trying to create or assign students from different schools to different sections of the library so let's get back to the first example in the first example we have talked about a shoe choosing a shoe inside a shop so we ha we had three um, conditions the first condition was the quality I mean the color of the shoe or the color of the pair of the shoes and we also had the condition whether the shoe is comfortable enough when we wear it and finally the third condition is um, the quality of the letter must be good so each of this condition needs to be true in computing context or in computer languages context like if the um, if the color is black of a shoe then my con it matches with my condition which means this is true the color of the pair uh, that's in front of me inside the shop is black which means it matches with the first condition or this is true then I move on to the second condition and I check the second condition is whether the uh, shoe is comfortable enough to wear so if I if I'm inside a shop and I ask the shop assistants to uh, shop assistant to bring up a pair of shoes and I wear that shoe and I walk around the shop and I see that it's comfortable enough for me then I consider it to be true so I'm actually speaking in terms of computing language so if you consider that uh, sh uh, that pair of shoes to be comfortable then you your second condition gets matched or your second condition has matched so you then move on to the third condition the third condition is you can uh, is that you compare the pair of shoes with the other pair of shoes you compare the one that you're holding right now in your hand inside the shoe uh, inside the shop sorry and you compare the quality of the of the leather with all the other shoes that you can see around so if that leather is good enough for you then you will purchase that shoe because all the three conditions have matched perfectly or all the three conditions are true for that particular pair of shoes so when that particular pair of sh uh, shoe has got all the conditions um, all together or all the conditions have matched up then and only then you're going to buy that shoe so in that context all the conditions need to be true in order for a face to work which means if a shop has got a, sh a pair of shoes that is black and is comfortable and also has got good quality leather then I'm going to buy that shoe that pair of shoes from that shop if the conditions does not match if all the three conditions are false then I'm going to move on to the second phase the second phase is that I'm going to move on to the second shop and look for my um, preferred shoes so uh, this actually explains how we can break down uh, this control structures or control statements inside our programs so when we break them down it becomes easier for us to code so let's actually look at how we can implement that control structure inside our program so to, in order for us to um, implement the control structure we need to learn few constructs before we can proceed the control structure that we're going to learn about is the if statement now the if statement has other entailing statements but I'm going to show you the first one the if statement starts with the keyword if then it's followed by brackets then also it's also followed by curly braces so um, there are two basic parts in this if statement in this entire if statement so first off the first of all you need to um, write this if keyword 
then inside this bracket the first brackets that you see inside this bracket you're going to provide the condition that we already talked about like you're going to say whether um, the color of the shoes or the color of the pair is black or not that's a condition so you're going to provide that condition inside this block so if the condition is true then your program is going to execute this block of code like um, let me let me just write it down literally um, color is black then we are also we also want and uh, sorry for that and it's comfortable and finally the third condition needs to be whether um, it's actually good quality quality is good quality is good then if all these conditions match then I'm going to buy the shoes so you basically see I uh, uh, you're actually looking at something that's really not a program but this is known as the pseudocode pseudocode is like you are reading the program in terms of a uh, human language so that you can turn that uh, pseudocode or in uh, you can turn that human language into a programming language which the computer will understand